Someone stole one of my ideas and sold it for over $300,000. And now it's time to expose them to the world. If you don't believe me, check out the last video. It explains everything. Basically, a guy saw I hung a banana in an art museum to protest modern art and stole word for word exactly what I told news stations a year earlier. So first I'm gonna, well, the first I'm gonna fly all the way to Miami, Florida. The original spot the banana was hung up at. We spent all our money on the plane ticket. So now my friend and I both have no money. I'm in debt, a dollar and 59 cents. I'm not eating one bite of food unless I can sell this painting. We're gonna be gone for like seven days, bro. Yeah, that's fine. No money for a place to sleep. And no money to pay for an Art Basel ticket, which usually goes for about $100 per day. So we're gonna have to sneak in. Which is where I'll hang up an NFT of the original banana. The banana that was stolen from me. And I'll expose the truth to everyone. But first, so there's one more thing that we have to do. We have to change up our identities. <laughs> oh. That no one will recognize me now. Dude, we're totally sneaking in, dude. See you guys. You want some food? Stop it. Get that shit away from me. We decided to team up with two strangers we met at the airport. Andy and, and Max. We've met our new homies here. Which was actually convenient because they were renting a U-Haul truck. You know what that means? Free transportation. Woo! We're doing it. It's time for the mission. Sneak into Art Basel. So the entrance is guarded by security, and the only way to enter is to scan a purchase ticket. Or maybe that's just what they want you to think, because there is always another way in. Check it out. These guys are carrying what looks like to be a fourth grade art project, and walk right past security. Now, as you can see, all this guy has is just black pants, a black shirt, no credentials. No credentials either on these two, and guess who else has a black shirt and no credentials? Me. So I'm just gonna follow these guys right in. Yes, I am a professional art mover who is just as legit as everyone else here. And when no one's looking, my friend and I dash around a corner. Let's go this way. It leads to an exit, which my friend props open with a piece of wood. We then head back outside. What are you doing? It's a pop-up gallery. Is this legal, Brooks? I got an official permit. <laughs> Take the cliff bar. No. It's time for the next step. Change into a fancy outfit. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, good? Brooks was too tired from the all-nighter we pulled. Also, he hasn't been eating, so he's gonna sit this one out. I guess it's just me and the two guys I met at the airport. We go back to the door we propped open. Now it's time to walk with confidence. Walk as if you own the place, because I do own the place. This is actually my art basil. That's why I'm in such a fancy outfit. And we made it. Just about 100 feet short of the actual entrance. Yeah, I'm gonna say we just send it one more time. This time, after getting the correct directions, we walk past the exact same people we saw before. Nothing to see here, guys. But turns out it's just a dead end. These doors only open one way. Oh, never mind. It looks like I outsmarted the engineers who built this thing. And as you can see here, I almost totally ruin it by walking back out to security. I'm like, nope, I do a U-turn, and boom! That's how you sneak into Art Basel. Let's go! Now I have to find the gallery where the duct tape banana was hung up last Art Basel. And here's some of the art we saw along the way. $100,000 shape. World record money laundering at 86 million. The guy who saw the previous guy said, I can't believe it's this easy to make money. Literal garbage. No, but like that's actually what the plaque says. This is actual garbage. But it's also expensive art. This guy was too busy laundering money to even start on this art piece. Next we have a very expensive painting done by- Never mind, this was actually just the first result that comes up when you Google first grade painting. Art Basel would never show something of this low quality. Instead, they only show the highest quality paintings like this one. Eventually we found this spot where the duct tape banana was hung up last Art Basel. Right here, this is where it was hung. The exact same spot that I will be hanging up my banana to expose the truth to everyone tomorrow. Brooksy Brooks. Oh, How's your sleep? Oh, it was good. You guys were good? Yeah. No, you did not. How else would you have this newspaper that is obviously from the inside? Yeah, well, I can tell when you're lying, Ben, about something. Anyways, we spent too much time sneaking into Art Basel that we spent no time finding a place to sleep. Okay, is, is this what we've come to? Are we sleeping in a park? Okay, we're homeless tonight. Okay. <laughs> Let's hope uh, we don't get kicked out of this public park. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> After getting some very average sleep, we woke up to everything going wrong. Besides all the projectors being sold out to project our NFT, everyone bailing on the plan last second. Your call has been forwarded. Dang it! Out. Brooks ran into some personal issues, so he's gonna sit this one out. Oh, I have to focus on this right now. And now there's only one hour left until Art Basel 2021 is done forever. So I called back up our friends we met at the airport, and they're in. Uh, and yeah. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! And it kind of does suck, is literally everything we've been doing has literally all led up to this moment right here. And we're about to send it. We're gonna make it! So we entered Art Basel the exact same way we entered yesterday, because we're experts now. Look at that flawless entrance. 
When I first put up our NFT, there was no one to see it. But all we had to do was wait, because just after a few minutes, the art gallery was full of people. Yes, the truth is finally getting out to everyone. Now it's time to execute my plan. Fake sell my banana NFT to one of my rich actor friends to get news coverage. And then use this news coverage to show the world how Puritan Gallery stole my banana idea. Everyone will know that I'm the original artist. Boom, exposed. Is there something in particular he's interested in? Everything's running smoothly, and these workers actually believe that my friend is very interested in buying an art piece. To the beeswax to create this image. Oh. The show is now closing. Uh, I think it's, is that your phone on the No, I have my phone right here. Even though I completely changed my appearance a few days ago, once they saw the banana hung up, they knew it was me. I knew that your glasses are filming me. These guys know we have a plan to expose them, and they're not just gonna sit there and let themselves get exposed. So they did what they had to do. They played it dirty, and they took my phone. Did they just took my phone down, dude. Yeah, they were taking pictures of us the whole time. That phone was actually mine. Did you qualify have it back, possibly? Um, yes. What was going on? Were you trying so, to like, make us look... Stupid or the guy who actually did the duct tape banana actually stole it from us. Yeah, it was our gallery. And we gave the phone to a guard. Do you know who should ask about it? Or? Yeah, the like front security. And they said that they gave it up to front security. Security didn't have my phone. Okay, well Periton said they gave it to a security guard. Okay, lost and found now. Just to go along with our story, we head over to Lost and Found. Hey, do you guys have any iPhones? Oh wow, Lost and Found doesn't have it either. The game plan. We have like 30 seconds of privacy to talk. Oh, oh there's a that was a very counterproductive meeting. I was so close. So close to exposing the truth to everyone. But now, all I'm left with is no money, no place to stay, no phone, until... I sold the painting! I sold the painting to a New York collector, dude. I haven't even day! Well, more like 34 hours. I'm big time, baby! Let's go! Let's go! Hit it big time! I made it! Dude, none of them cared at all. Of course, you have paparazzi now. Dude, she knows I'm big time. Dude, I can't believe it. She was like, oh my god, it's Bruce Cosser. He's got over 4,000 subs on YouTube. Uh, Woo! I'm big time. Bruce Cosser. Then come here. Wait, yes, dude. Wait. Oh, dude, let's I go, am. Let's go. Let's go. Here. <laughs> yes, dude. Hey, guys, I know you. Aren't you famous? You don't have to pay. This is on the house. Really? You are big time. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> So we brought to the hotel the two guys we met at the airport and they're gonna help me get my phone back It's somewhere in this blue circle that narrows it down. It just refreshed. Yes, it's still at the center So the next day we go back hey, You guys can't even come up with any good ideas on your own that you have to copy other people's ideas We're sneaking back into the exhibit so we can find the people that stole it Yeah, we are directly on top of it um, What's up? Where are you guys? We're just trying to find a phone uh, A confiscated phone? Yeah uh, they brought it to like visitor services or exhibitions. You go to exhibitor services, it's there. Okay. Well, I don't know if you know this, but there's a little feature on Find My Phone that lets you sound off an alarm, even if the phone's on silent. Should we sound the alarm? So this is the sounds playing. And after about two seconds of the alarm sounding, the phone switches off. It's not playing the sound. We went and we checked exhibitor services. This is how you want to play? Okay, fine. It's the next day again. Take three. We sneak back into the art center disguised as the cleanup crew. Yo, I sent you in here 30 minutes ago. It's, it's even more messy than when I sent you in here the first time. All right, well, you know what? This, this, I'm big time, so why don't you get out of here, okay? But you, what are you going to do? Just throw it all on the ground and storm off? You know what? I'm big time. Maybe I will. I totally think they bought that. And now that we're perfectly disguised, it's time to leave my final warning to let them know what's coming. This is where the banana was right here. Give me back my phone or else. I, I didn't actually have room to fully write out what would happen if they didn't give me back my phone. So I just wrote dot, dot, dot. But it's implied that something very bad will happen if they don't give me back my phone. So we went back to exhibitor services one more time, just in case. Oh, there's no phone here. There's no phone there. So it's somewhere still in that building. 
So you, you that guy still has it, whoever it is. This is our other security place. office where who got yeah. lost and found from the show. And she said there's no phone, no iPhone. And I think that, like you said, if the phone died, he probably actually turned the phone off. Oh no. When? It stinks too because we know the person that stole it. It's like an art feud, you know? and. They, they, they play dirty. The artists stole our idea and we have proof of it. They saw we had proof of it and they wanted to destroy the evidence. What's yeah. Yeah. If they stole our physical art, we're just going to make our art in digital form so they can't steal, steal it. it. And they still stole it! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> First they steal our banana idea and now they steal my phone. So we got to take these parents and people down. Dude. They think they're big time, but they don't realize. Stand the camera around. We're big time! You think you're big time, parent and gallery? What? Think again. We're big time! I ate an oyster yesterday. We ate our first oyster. Well, I've had oysters before. Going down, parenting!